Hey guys, I'm Ming Hua Ren. Today I'd like to talk about self-reflection. As the course of management 50-50 comes to an end, I gradually feel the gap between my professional skill and ethics with my future career plan. In this video, I will demonstrate my self-reflective thinking and process in relation to the two assessment feedback and my feelings from the second week of SDW emotional intelligence and the ethical framework. From these experiences, I want to explain how it has changed me for my future professional development. The feedback I got from my first book was that I was descriptive rather than analytical about what happened, and I did not question it critically enough. Therefore, in my second assessment, I focus on improve this aspect and I try to use what I learned in management 50-50 and analyze my case objectively and refine the problem of my first book. However, in the feedback I received on both assessments, I found that I was still not careful enough to complete the detail of the requirement. This made me fall into self-doubt because I had clearly checked the detail before submit, but I still saw the missing error in the feedback. It also made me realize that what people think they are doing is correct, but in reality it's not always correct. Meanwhile, it reminds me of blood spot. Sometimes we have to admit something when we think it's ethical, but I actually do not realize the gap between our own behavior and the real ethics. Before learning management 50-50, I usually keep my own ethical will. I would point out the problem of others when I thought what they did was not in line with my ethical will. But I would ignore the emotion of others, causing my relationship with them to become distant. However, after my second week of study SDW, I was spared. Now when communicating with others, I will consider the use of emotional intelligence. I will maintain an emphasis pay attention to the emotions of others at the moment and avoid their negative emotion to affect the quality of communication. At the same time, I also control my own emotion, always keep the positive emotion and not be affected by others' negative emotion. I will be a patient listener, understand their idea and realize my own shortcomings. Therefore, my communication with others has become more cordial. Many of my friends were willing to exchange opinion with me, which has given me a lot of new inspiration. This allowed me to be more effective in my study and work, and it also gave me great confidence to communication with others. It solved the worry I had during the first week when I want to enhance my interpersonal relationship. In the long run, this skill will help me improve my self-reflection and emotional regulation skill. Applying this skill to my future career will definitely help me succeed. To sum up, this term of management 50-50 has been very inspiring for me. I meet wonderful teachers and students in management 50-50, and with their help, I learned more about myself and understand others better. It also taught me to approach my future work with a new perspective and enrich my professional skill and business ethics.